What is going on YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be going over the top apps, items, and programs that you need to increase your hourly pay as a delivery driver. And the point of this video is to optimize your account to make sure you get the largest orders on these apps. As someone who has made $618 in one day doing food delivery before, I'm going to be ranking everything from S tier, which is the most profitable, and D tier, which is not as helpful. So we're going to go ahead and get started. DoorDash. This is the most popular delivery app out there, and most people know what this is. For that reason alone, we can put that in the S tier because in most markets, there's the highest amount of orders. Personally, I have a couple apps that are better than DoorDash in my area, but it's definitely an S tier as you need to have it in your inventory. DoorDash Pizza Program. Now I have this program allegedly according to this DoorDash agent, but usually you will get an email where you can send a photo of a pizza bag and you'll start receiving more pizza orders. This doesn't really make any sense because I get pizza orders anyways on this app. Right as I got accepted into it, I didn't see any change, so we're going to put that in the D tier. But let me know in the comment section if this actually makes a difference for you guys or not. DoorDash Large Order Program. Being in this program enables you to get $30, $40, $50 plus orders on DoorDash. And this is definitely going into the S tier. In order to be in this program, you must meet these requirements and receive an invitation email from DoorDash. But definitely get this as soon as possible because you're just missing out on huge orders that you could be getting. DoorDash Red Card Orders. You used to have to use these to order food at Wendy's, Taco Bell's, and some other fast food restaurants, but nowadays they're used mainly for CVS and Walgreens and some shopping grocery orders. These are pretty decent. They're definitely not amazing. We're going to put it into the B tier category. You get them when you sign up for DoorDash in the first place, so you probably have this unless you messed up your mail and delivery address. Grubhub. Now we're putting this in the A tier category today. It's not exactly S tier, as it definitely can't stand alone for me. I only get about five or six orders an hour hour usually even at the busiest times but these orders do have tip transparency which means I could see how much the customer tips and it's not hidden like some other apps do so these orders could definitely come in clutch at certain times where I could get big orders that get me out of bad areas so definitely make sure you sign up for this as I like to have it on in the background at all times shipped now I recently did a video where I tried this for the first time. It's definitely not bad, there are a lot of more orders than I thought there would be. I'm mean, going to be putting it into the B tier category because it's not as good as Grubhub. You can't see the tip up front, which I do not like because I like to be very selective with my orders. But it doesn't hurt to have in case you're not getting any orders, you could open it up and see if there's anything you could do. Uber Eats. This is my number one go-to app. I'm definitely putting it into the S tier category. I get orders all day on Uber Eats. It's just too good. Did you know that french fries is the most ordered item on Uber Eats? No, I didn't, Dashie, but where'd you even find that information? I have my sources. Google. Instacart. This is another no-brainer S-tier app that you have to have. I recommend having this app on at all times while you're doing deliveries as you can get some extremely good orders on here. It's definitely more skill-based as how fast you can shop definitely is a factor in how much you make per hour. An advanced strategy that I really like to use is doing Uber Eats and Instacart orders from the same store at the same time. This is one of the most important strategies to get in over $500, $600 a day. I also really like doing these short CVS orders as it could be pretty high paying, $13 for 1.4 miles and 4 items takes a pretty short amount of time to shop, especially in CVS. I'd also like to point out really quick that Instacart also has its own card, like DoorDash and Uber Eats, and it also has its other programs where you have to sign up for each one, like the alcohol program, you have to do a quick course and quiz and the large bag program but these are things that the app walks you through anyways and having it all basically just means you have a basic instacart account a grocery store cart this could honestly save you five to ten minutes and a lot of physical work especially if you have an order with a lot of water bottles and if it's going to an apartment i can honestly argue that this deserves s tier but since it's not an app or anything like that we're going to put it as the a category but if you don't have instacart then you probably don't need this the get upside app this is basically an app for those who don't know which lets you earn cash back on gas. As you guys can see, I currently have a $17 per gallon cash back reward, which is insane. If I fill up a full tank, I'll get $170. But I'll be 100% honest with you guys. Obviously, I have a YouTube channel, which I give out referrals, so I'm able to earn so much. But for the average user, you'll probably be earning somewhere from 10 to 15 cents per gallon off with no catch or anything like that. 
We're gonna be putting it into the C tier as it will save you a couple bucks a month, so it's definitely not too bad. And use my promo code when you sign up for an extra 15 cents per gallon off your first purchase. And I'm gonna be making a video soon about me redeeming my reward and trying to get the most amount of money possible, so I think that'll be an entertaining video. Next we have the Beans app. This app basically highlights the apartment complex for you when it gets confusing. It can be helpful, but it is $5 a month. I have tried this and it has helped me, but honestly, there are other ways that you could find the apartment, like Googling it or calling the customer. So for that reason, we're going to be putting in that D as it's not worth it. I don't pay for it anymore. So real quick, guys, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video so far and check out my other DoorDash videos on my channel. I'm trying to reach my first 10,000 subscribers, so hit that subscribe button if you like DoorDash. The Uber Eats Plus card. This works basically the exact same as the DoorDash Red card, but these orders are much better. They always have great dollar per mile ratios and they don't take that long to do. And most days that I average more than $30 an hour is because of these orders. I would honestly rather have this than Grubhub. We're putting it in the S tier. Gridwise or any mile tracking app. We're putting this in the S tier because it's basically a necessity to track your miles. There are other apps out there like Everlance and even the Solo app that has this one feature which guarantees you pay or something. I don't know, I downloaded it and I couldn't figure out how it worked, but I just stick to Gridwise. It also has a feature where it tells you which is the most popular area in your market, but things like this you could find out on your own and you have to pay for this extra service, so I just use the free version of the app. Having a car with good gas mileage. This is obviously S tier because technically DoorDash and food delivery is your own business and driving around a truck that gets you 13 miles per gallon isn't going to be a good business decision. Good cars for food delivery would be something like a Toyota Prius, Toyota Corolla, Honda Civic. I don't want to drive a Toyota Prius because my girlfriend says she's too embarrassed to see me in it. Well maybe you should get a new girlfriend, Dashie. Dashie, I'm pregnant! Oh my goodness. Walmart Spark and Amazon Flex. I actually do not have any of these two apps. I've been on the wait list for a couple of months now, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys in the comment section to rate this S, A, B, C, or D. So drop your comment on what you would rate these two apps. YouTube or any other side hustles. Being able to work whenever you want is nice, but if you're not using that flexibility to work on another side hustle or business, then you're just wasting potential. One of the easiest things that you could start right now if you're a delivery driver is starting a DoorDash YouTube channel like my own. You're basically just making money, filming yourself, making money, and it's pretty fun to share with the community what kind of orders that you get and how your shift goes. All you need is your iPhone camera and some basic editing skills with a free service like iMovie. I'm starting to make over a thousand dollars a month from this YouTube channel so if you want to get started on it I definitely recommend just going for it. I'm currently trying to figure out what I want to do for my second passive income source but if I ever was to start one and start testing it out it'll put me at a huge advantage as to if I was to have a regular job where I was forced to be there at certain times. Whether it be starting a vending machine business, starting another YouTube channel, or buying houses and renting them out, if you're not working on another business, skill, side hustle, or even college, you're not taking full advantage of what food delivery gig driving has to offer and the flexibility that it has. So we're putting that YouTube slash working towards other income sources at S. And last we have Top Dasher, which we are putting at the very bottom because Top Dasher. So that concludes my list guys. Comment below if you agree or disagree with my list and hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video and we will see you in the next one.